Barry with Barry Fast Cars here. I'm on to Ferrari. If I can uh, just do this off the top of my head, guys, so bear with me. But we're analyzing Formula One 2021 after the uh, first and only preseason testing. So we're checking out the Ferrari here. Let's pop over just to the main picks because this gallery works well. We can talk about this car a little bit and the, the brand and the situation we see ahead of us. So they kept the matte red paint. Obviously, uh, they, the cars are under the skin essentially identical. There are going to be aero tweaks. The chassis design is identical to last year but, uh, per the rules and regulations. And let's just get right into it. Yes, the mission winnow, which I always refer call it mission win now not mission winnow i don't care who says what i think that's just a mistranslation from i it's just mind-blowing so i call it i literally just always call it mission win now because it's time for them to win now uh, so that the green there uh, i honestly didn't even do the research on why it's green uh, i don't think it'll be on the car at um i wouldn't say a majority but some races I don't think they're allowed to have it. And then they also did this, you can barely even call it a fade to dark red on the back. I really don't know what they're thinking. This is uh, livery wise, or at least paint job wise, I think one of the worst Ferraris ever. And I like dark red. I think the best Ferrari ever, or the one of the sexiest was uh, Felipe Massa's and um, Kimi Raikkonen's in 07 and 08. They used dark red and they used the diamond dust in the paint. It was the sickest thing ever. And that car was just magic. And about literally like 70% of the size of this thing. But let's pop through here. Uh, the engine seems to be running okay. They didn't have too many reliability issues at preseason testing. Um, I do like what they did with the uh, the nose. The, this actually is one of the better looking Ferrari noses in a while. It's not drastically different from last year. It's mainly the paint job, but uh, how they how they smoothed out this um, into the you know the the weird part of the nose that we're stuck with. And then of course these are technically intakes, and they go straight back to the crazy barge board designs. I cannot believe these are loud. Why these? I mean they're going they're going next year, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, not a fan of the dark red, at least how they implemented it here. I love the dark red. I'm a gigantic fan of early 50s and 60s Ferraris and that, that color palette they used. This weird dark, and this is obviously from the launch video. But here we go, so we'll see. I don't think they're going to be that, um, <laughs> you know, stealing too many headlines, let's say. Except in Italy, where they'll get a bunch of crap this year. Because they're worried about their 2022 car. Let's be honest. The the engine they they could develop, but I don't think the chass chassis issues will be fixed too much. We're on to the Ferrari website though. Um, going down the list of the um, of the specifications, which is always fun to read. It's been the same for years, but isn't this interesting? The bore they give us that 80 mil bore, 53 millimeter stroke. Obviously a short stroke engine. <clears throat> they don't um, need torque from a long stroke so they because they have a gigantic turbocharger on there it'd be amazing if they gave us the the size of the turbocharger that'd be really cool 500 bar direct injection uh, i think that's something like 7500 psi it's just insane what, the, what they pull off and very translatable to road car technology you know the more we get direct injection uh, tested in a racing environment the better this is the ERS information. You got the lithium ion batteries, which with a minimum weight of 20 kilograms, so about 44 um, pounds for the for the battery. If it's the minimum weight, that's what the weight will be. So keep that in mind. This is what I want to mention real quick in my last minute of the video. We have the MG UK, of course, 50,000 RPM. It's it's an, an actual. Um, it's connected to the crankshaft. This MG UK, um, and it's also, of course, the uh, recovery. But it can it can rev to. Uh, 50,000 RPM and the MGUH this is of course connected to between somewhere related to the turbocharger that's why it's MGUH it uh, correlates to heat and that is for the turbocharger uh, real quick I'm going to drop it right here because I'm going to talk about it a lot more in upcoming videos about where F1 engines should go and first things first they need to get rid of the the turbine on Formula One cars. They have 125,000 electric motor, RPM electric motor. They don't need a turbine anymore. 